Jeremy Olivier is joining me in studio along with his wife Nicole to introduce us to Jeremy's new song, Beautiful, which was inspired by their son's story. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Oh, such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. Now tell me about Beautiful. Mm. How did this song come to be? Okay, so it was, uh, it's, it's a true story because mm -hmm. it's based on our lives. And uh, um, I, you know, it was four, five years ago now. Um, my wife Nicole was um, pregnant with mm -hmm. uh, with twins. We have already at that stage we had four beautiful children. Wow! And wow. Uh, yeah, we, yeah. We, you know we thought you know hey what's what's another one? So you know we <laughs> or do, <laughs> but we were excited that it was twins. We really were. And tragically, at twelve weeks, um, Nicole miscarried, mm. and it was I nearly lost her. It was touch and go, but. Um, uh, it, it's incredible you go through things like that and your life really does change mm -hmm. and and this was a change for the positive it was like introspectively mm -hmm. I can't really describe mm -hmm. how it changed it's both of profound, us yeah. but it was mm -hmm. profound and um, literally about six weeks later eight weeks later we get a call out of the blue from a friend of Nicole's mm -hmm. about a little guy that had been um, abandoned he had been you know uh, and uh, it was in a nearby township Mm -hmm. And he was looking for a home, and uh, we decided. He, yeah. he, he had literally been left in his in his mother, like found in his wrapped in his mother's jacket inside a plastic bag. So it was oh. quite a miracle that he had mm -hmm. survived. And I think because we were still quite raw from our own loss, we just oh. he just bawled his eyes out. I really <laughs> did. When, we heard when the I news, told him, and, and he just we both just looked at each other and said, "We should go find out more." You know, this mm -hmm. this this just felt like something we needed to we needed to know more about yeah so um we went and saw the social worker yeah and she said to us would you like to see him yeah like right away yeah we weren't expecting oh it God. you know yeah. like, okay let's go see him and off we went um yeah. into this into the township and into the little safe house where he was and he was four weeks old at the time and i'll never forget this little yellow hat on his head and we just looked at him and we just fell in love we just felt this is meant to be, you know. Yeah. And a few weeks later, he came home to be with us. So, and he's now just turned five. Wow. So, so this Crazy, beautiful child. So <laughs> what happened is a couple of years ago, I've been a, a musician that's been kind of like a, a, a backing musician. Mm -hmm. You know, the guy that, a session guy that gets booked. I've, I've sung with George Benson. I've played with different people all over the world. And always as the guy that's playing guitar, maybe doing some backing singing. Mm -hmm. And we knew a few years ago I could feel I really need to leave my legacy like yeah. what is it that I have to say you know and so we started thinking about that and about three years ago we we wrote a song called serendipity which was released to radio and it did pretty well mm -hmm. and it ended up Nicole and I wrote the song together she's amazing with lyrics and I do I do the music and everything and then it was the same with the song beautiful mm -hmm. now we've already done quite a few songs now yeah. and we've recorded them and I came up with this riff, you know, and I just had this, you know, and I had no words for it. And I was trying to write like things like, boy meets girl, <laughs> like you know, it was hard, you know, it, just, it, wasn't, it wasn't working, you know. And then I came back from one of my regular gigs um, late at night, it was like 12 o'clock, you know, in the morning. And um, Nicole said to me, I think I've written the lyrics for the song because we always record it and yes. then she takes it and then she'll start writing words and um, she 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 showed me the lyrics and I just you know halfway through I was just like nah, I couldn't make it through <laughs> so what she'd done is 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 written the first verse is about how our, our son is called Noah mm. and she wrote about how his mother must have felt to have given up her child like where must you be at yeah. to do that mm. you know and uh, so that's how it starts. And then the second verse turns to her and it says, you know, another day, another room, a mother mourns her empty womb, baby's gone. And it's like, whoa, okay, this is heavy, you know, <laughs> this is, but it was the true story, this is what happened. And then in the chorus, so now this is where we're at, it's now one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and inspiration is clearly around because I wrote the chorus, you know, mm. and it says, how does this happen? God only knows, from something so broken, something beautiful grows. Suddenly open for wonders to fall, what you thought was lost can be found and made beautiful. <laughs> so it's basically a story about two tragedies. You know, this little guy that's been 
abandoned. Mm -hmm. Wow, how hard is that, you know, to mm -hmm. start off life like that? Yeah. And a mother who's experienced loss, a family that is, that's mm -hmm. experienced loss, and then the two finding each other, and this beautiful, I mean, you know, people say, wow, what a lucky little boy to be found, and no, mm -hmm. we, we are the lucky, lucky ones, ones. Mm -hmm. man. He's added so much life yeah. to our family. It's just amazing. Yeah. And he's just turned five, yeah. hey? just on the 6th of September. Oh, how cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even seen him, and no. I just can imagine. He's so oh, cute. <laughs> You'll meet him one I'll time. I'll show you both. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. Now, Nicole, what was it like for you to tap into what Noah's biological mother was feeling? Um, I don't know. I was sitting there thinking, you know, I never felt that it was a, an act of throwing him away or, you know, I felt that it was a desperate act from a desperate person. And, you know, since um, chatting with, with um, some guys at UNICEF, you know, the statistics on teenage pregnancy and, and that it's mostly a result of rape and, and that, you know, culturally it's not so acceptable to, to give your baby up for adoption. Mm -hmm. You just understand where their minds must be at. They're so desperate, you yeah. know. But when I was sitting with the, with that riff that Jeremy had, had written and I, I was just listening to it, this picture just came into my mind of this little, this young teenage girl carrying this baby and just not knowing what to do, you know, wrapping him in her jacket and putting, I think, protecting him in plastic. I don't think throwing him away. I didn't, I didn't feel that, you know. I don't know, the, the picture just came to my mind and um, the words flowed out. Wow. <laughs> we, it was easy to write. The this easiest song we've ever written. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was honestly inspired. Eh? Yeah, I mean, very there's, easy there's songs that you write and you take a little bit longer mm. maybe and whatever and this one yeah. just came out. Yeah. Eh? As well as the chorus, that same mm. night was like bang, yeah. there we go and okay done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> then we recorded it and yeah it's been Awesome. Yeah. We've just released it a couple of weeks ago. And the music um, video. And the music video as well. What, yes. what a powerful music video. Thank you. That's, again, my wife. She's a graphic designer by a trade. Jeez, you, know, you are so, a drill of all trades. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Master of none. <laughs> uh, rubbish. <laughs> and she, um, she's got such a good eye. And because the story was so much... It's part of us, you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's not like just bubblegum rubbish. This yeah. is a true story, you know. Mm -hmm. So Nicole knew exactly, and we worked with an amazing director, mm -hmm. a guy called Roger Hawkins, who's a very close friend of ours, and he's also got an incredible, like, you know, just understanding things and putting it to mm -hmm. picture. He's so good at that. He's, um, Moyo Films, is who did the, did yeah. the, his company did the um, video for us. But they worked very, Nicole and Roger basically, were the, the people that worked on it so much together and uh, we made sure we took time. Mm -hmm. there was, it was quite a long period, like mm -hmm. we, it wasn't sort of done in a, in a week and then put together, you know, it yeah. was filmed in a, in a few days and we had to reshoot one of the scenes and then, um, you know, we took time on the grading and the editing and, and everything. So we're really, we're really happy with, with the end result.